listening to Anthony, Anthony on the virus. Serious XM. <laughs> Oh, my God. We finally got a look at the pictures. I told you, it, it makes you look like if you was writing a, sc a scathing report on something. They found a picture that I've never even seen myself that looks exactly like it should look for a bad... For a These bad are pictures article. of men. Yeah, you and Louie's picture look like men that would just beat their women senseless. <laughs> look, at the, look at the picture they have of Louie like he's a raven, sweaty lunatic. <laughs> yeah. Fuck, Here's Patrice's picture. Just when the woman is coming to again after you just knocked her out, she's looking up, and this is the face you're giving her like, bitch, I've hit you harder than that, and you didn't go down. And don't and, and don't let me cut that index finger off so you don't dial 911. <laughs> like, that's what her face is. That's what my yeah, face Yeah, that's what like. your face looks like. Liz Abzug, I'm so sorry you have Liz Abzug. There's a, I do. How long do I have to live? How do you have a B, a Z, and a G in the same five-letter last name? She should be shot. It's just how How do you spell the most unsexy name in the world? Merle Abzug. Hoffman. Or Merle. Merle Hoffman. Merle. Hoffman. A woman named Merle. <laughs> Some Merle. Hey, beautiful, what's your name? Merle. <laughs> Merle Hoffman's a guy you borrow hedge clippers from. <laughs> it's not a friggin' woman's Alexis name. Merle. No, no. M-E-R-L-E is Merle. No, Stephanie. Well, I thought <laughs> I just... thought maybe she spelled, you know, sometimes girls will spell their name, it'll be Jill, but they spell it like J-Y-L-L. There is no way this is Merle, because it's M-E-R-L. L E. It's Merle. It's Merle. Her name is Merle. No. It's Merle. She it's... wears tight dungarees and work boots. Her name is Merle. Of course Merle. she does. She walks around with a, with a, with a uh, pocket gazoo and a ukulele with a strap on it around her neck. <laughs> she has hair like Joe Dirt. Merle stinks. <laughs> I hate Merle. I hate Merle too. <laughs> I hope, I hope Merle gets Abzug on her, on her, I was going to say, Osario. ovaries. <laughs> There's, you on have Abzugs. Osario. There's Abzugs on your, on your ovaries. We're they sorry. Had picture, they had a, and the picture they had, uh, they had, a, yeah, the Osario girl is the picture. Oh, she, she's kind of hottish for somebody who's like, you know. It's not totally bad for, oh, the, for what that. she does. No, no, she's, she's, but she's the president of now right she, now? What a wonderful sense of humor she must have. I bet. All she, de all she deals with is bleeding gums and <laughs> You know, black and, eyes and bad excuses on why they didn't get their housework done. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was, I was cleaning and he was drinking. <laughs> yeah, all right, fine. But why don't you explain why dinner was cold again? <laughs> How about that, Toots? Don't give Sonya one side of the story. <laughs> I like putting her picture with. I like putting her picture right next to uh, Louis and yours, Patrice. It really fills out Wait the whole minute, thing. No, put put hers to the to the left of me. Oh, and I'm in the middle, and that's the caption. Oh, okay. And there and, it is, just like that. That's how it went. Oh in wow. Okay, that's bad. It looks like you two are indicted for raping oh, her. Okay, right. That's, that's exactly what it looks like. I tell you, I want to see Sonia Osario's desk. I bet you she just has tissue box after <laughs> tissue box for for all the snivelers that walk in. <laughs> Got a refrigerator with raw steaks in it for their eyes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> oh, dude, I, I don't know. And they didn't tell us it was a, it was a beating as a it was a beatings of homeless women. <laughs> we thought it was just old regular homeless. Men. <laughs> Not the beat up one. <laughs> Not only is now National Organization of Women, but it's when you should do the housework when you're told. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! It, it 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 was so you don't understand, man. How uh, is it was so non anticlimactic? Yeah. The, the situation. I just came in, did my did my abuse of humor, and left. One lady that could have been Andrea that were yelling out, "Excuse me, somebody I don't know who." Ew. Excuse me, and I, I I've heard that oh. excuse me before because of course yeah. I've you know pissed women off to them uh, enough to go. Ex excuse me, she was gonna say something like, "Do you have a girlfriend? Has your mother ever?" Excuse, excuse me. Excuse me. And I'm go, empowered, and I uh. I go like this, which I know had to piss whoever it was off. I go, hold on, I finished the joke, and then I go. 
Oh, they said I gotta go. Like I did. <laughs> they said I have to go. Thank you very much. I yeah, gotta go. Good night. <laughs> not not addressing up. you, you dope. She should be that zealous when she's dropping those little blue hockey pucks into the septic tank. <laughs> <laughs> That's when she should have that type of that type of go get him attitude. <laughs> when there's a streak in the tub, get that that go get her attitude. Excuse me. Excuse me. There's a streak in this tub, and I better get to cleaning. Oh, didn't I say scrambled? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought you said sunny side. <laughs> Excuse me. This is Andrea Pizer. Now, I like to think I have a seriously twisted sense of humor. She didn't even say a twisted sense of humor. She said seriously and twisted. And she likes to think that about herself. You know like, what? Oh, you don't. honey, I, I, I can go with the best of them. I bet it her little coffee clutches she yes. goes to with her all the little old maid women sitting there. That she is the life of the party with her jokes. You know what it is? They're probably all around with her dumb broad friends, and they play cards, and they watch soaps. And someone says something about having too many drinks, and she goes, oh, 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 I had too many drinks once, it was crazy. Let me and tell you, twisted and, seriously and crazy. twisted, and She's you're nut. not twisted, your sense of humor stinks. It's not. It says, it's doing something in the heat of passion that will end up with the woman having to have one of her eyes shut real quickly. Like, like getting something in her eye, so it'll shut. And that is that supposed to represent the patch oh, over the punching? eye. Oh, yeah, you <laughs> slam her in the face with your fist. And that's supposed to represent the, the patch being over the eye. And then it says, then kicking her leg until she says, and it's spelt out in quotations, Arg. <laughs> this is why when I was reading it, I thought, I thought that she was not trying to make a bad uh, article. Because why would she? Write why would you arg? write it? The joke is, it reads funny. It reads that, funny, she's right? She's so stupid for doing that. <laughs> like you don't put arg. Why would she do uh, that? Because because as a dumb woman, uh, she doesn't understand that that is funny as it is. So she <laughs> writes it out and thinks that's terrible. That <laughs> and Merle agrees, and so does and so does Abzug. And so does that, <laughs> so does that other. Pie eater, and uh, and then it says uh, Sonia Os Osario. <laughs> That's what you should have said when you didn't give the eggs right to your husband. <laughs> Osario, Osario. <laughs> um, oh, lightheaded. <laughs> oh, God. he also drew okay. laughs and gasps. You drew gasps uh, by teaching men to improve. Um, the, the pinnacle of pleasure, let's say, uh, by paralyzing partners <laughs> during the act. And, and she doesn't, she's making this like, this is, this is my creation. I'm like, no, I'm just going through it. Like what? And she, she, she made it to be some type of, she validated that nonsense. Yep. Absolutely did. And then she goes way overboard as far as I'm concerned. Oh, Pye. yes. Then Louis C.K., whose HBO series, Lucky Louie, was mercifully canceled. <laughs> That's just out of order. You know, why? Why? Why do you have to kick us all the way down? <laughs> then Louis C.K., whose HBO series, Lucky Louie, mercifully canceled, one-upped his twisted colleague, joking about decimating his stupid four-year-old daughter by bashing her in the head. <laughs> and she goes, arg. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. She just wrote arg. It's just, it, I couldn't believe it was that political watching this thing. Like, reading and I'm going, what? I just did that stupidness and left. Oh, and it, poor and Bobby was... Watts. He then had to. I want to state that I do not condone the offensive women-hating nature of the routines Watts wrote to Hoffman. I wonder if Merle, Merle got the email. Did you write, dear <laughs> Merle at Yahoo? Dear Ms. Hoffman, or was it, hey Merle? Yeah. Merle flips up her her uh, her flannel <laughs> collar. He said Merle. Merle. Dear Merle. <laughs> Some emasculated man Dear that Merle, cooks for her. Dear Merle, LOL. <laughs> you don't even put a comma after Merle. It's a colon. Merle. <laughs> Another uh, producer, Mark Krantz, disputed that anyone was upset. He said the organizers knew very well what the comics might say. We're sorry if it offended, but the performers knew why they were there, and they were uh, there for free. I'm sure on some planet these comics are funny. She, according to Andrea, she has a seriously twisted sense of humor. Seriously twisted. I'll bet you her and Merle 
And the Abzug girl shared a few belly laughs backstage. Oh. Remember that time you got pregnant and then you sneezed and you weren't pregnant anymore? Bah! I bet they chuckle watching that clear hose trying to identify what pieces are going through it. <laughs> Look. Was that a little hand? I would have shaken that. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, my sense of humor is so twisted, I'm laughing. Uh-oh, mess on the linoleum. Oh, tee <laughs> Oh, well, that could have been a president. <laughs> oh, oh, boy. That's good. Great. Bassinet to biohazard bag. <laughs> You're listening to Anthony. Good for your girl. She wrote, she was upset mostly with Merle. Merle. Because it's like, why would you yank your money? Because of what my right. boyfriend said. But uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just got so distracted at, the, at what I think was the news. It's white people dancing, and two of them are wearing the Jamaican hats. They're wearing yeah, Jamaican dreads. hats with the fake dreads coming out. Losing weight to losing weight to reggae. And they're dancing behind the anchor desk. <laughs> look at look at these idiots. Uh, she wrote. She started it out. I didn't read it because I because I know how I am. If I read it, I would have been, you know, backseat driving her great. But I I read it. it was really good. She was just. But the, it began with I am Patrice O'Neal's fiance, and then in parentheses, AKA his bitch. And I'm here to say that I have never been maimed <laughs> or beaten in the act of sex. But she never defended that I'm a misogynist. Uh, she never said I'm not one. She <laughs> probably tried to, and her computer wouldn't let her type it. <laughs> it kept deleting. But she wrote a long thing and all of gripes. And Andrea wrote back, um, I have to paraphrase it, but she basically wrote back, listen, uh, first of all, don't shoot the messenger. Second of all, I am not a, don't, before you give me a speech about um, journalistic integrity, I am not a journalist. I'm a columnist. So the, They're paid for their opinions. To me, it, it's fine. She's got an opinion, but yeah. it's a lousy one. Yeah. It's one that uh, is, is contradictory. To her saying that she has a uh, seriously twisted sense of humor, and uh, you know that's that's. She, it, Do women like that have sex? The, it's like he, glorious already. Oh, I'll bet you. I'll bet sex? you. I'll bet you. Not only do they have sex, but I'll bet Filthy. you. That they like their hair pulled, and I'll bet you that they are just dirtbag submissive. That's what my guess would be. Because any woman that's running around tooting her own horn like that and just demanding, how, I guarantee you, I think a lot they, like a lot of these. Uh, if right, they're straight, they're dirty subs. A lot of these right wing guys that are against homosexuality <laughs> always end up popping out of the closet when something happens, and some guy comes in and says, "Hey, we were having sex." Uh, same thing with these women. Yeah, they probably in bed just love a little hair tug. I can't believe by the, here's the worst thing of Andrea Pizer. She's a homely woman. They're mm. columnists like Linda Stacy. Yeah. And her, they're all ugly. The None of them hand. are sexy. I don't know what Merle looks like, but she couldn't be hot. <laughs> Merle can't be sexy. How can she be? The Anthony Podcast. That was some nice ink. That was great. <laughs> yeah, I was very proud of that. I thought that was awesome. No laughing matter, my friend. Well, you should know, know better than... How, that, how many... T every time something happens with comedy, that's the headline. No laughing matter. That's really creative. But this woman uh, claims to have this twisted sense of humor. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, just trashes you guys. Yeah, you know, I actually thought it was... a. She was fair in a lot of ways. Like, she says that Patrice got laughs. Like, she could have just not mentioned that. Mm -hmm. She does say he got laughs and gasps, which is true. I was there. Uh, you know, there were people that were bumming out, <laughs> but they were helping to make laugh the people with sense of humor. Um, so that happens laugh. at the uh, women's clinics, too. <laughs>, laughs and gasps. Yeah, <laughs> the boyfriend's laughing and high-fiving his friends <laughs> while she's gasping and thinking he's still going to stay with her because she, she's get, going through what he promised he'd stay with her if she went through. <laughs> you mean if I get a taken care of, you won't break up with me? Yeah. And he hears that thing get plugged in, and he, and he hears the kickstart, and he high-fives his friends, and they leave. Leave her there. Oh my God. Have some orange juice and get your own ride home, you, you no morning after pill whore. I just got to sell these concert tickets to pay for it. The thing is that the point of having us there was not that we weren't supposed to be there to talk about how great uh, women's shelters are. Yeah. We were there to put our names on the show so that people would come and see us. And both Patrice and I, when we went on stage, got big applause going on. So we know that people came, paid money to that women's shelter so that they could watch us say horrible things about women. That's the whole point. <laughs> yeah. Right.
you know, if they had had a show where a bunch of people stand up there and talk about how nice everybody should be, <clears throat> nobody would have paid any money. So, you mm-hmm. know, this woman that pulled her support, though, that's what makes me sick. Because yeah. She thinks that she's helping. She thinks that she's fighting misogyny by taking money away from a woman's shelter. So yeah. Yeah. Well, you think if Merle Hoffman would have been billed uh, that she was going to be up on stage and and Liz Abzug was going to be up there, that the place would have packed out? Of course not. The thing that's funny, too, is that Merle Hoffman, it says she pulled her support. She's the um, the president of Choices Women's Clinic. Yeah. It's not like they had money. She just decided to be bitter and say something crappy, but it's not like she was pouring money into the place. Oh, so she just is removing her support. Well, that's the way I read it because it, it doesn't. Actually, I think she said they said she was a big financial contributor. Uh, maybe on a personal level, she was. It doesn't say that on the. No, I thought it said she was a big a big contributor. I could be wrong. No, she's just another you know person with a handout for women that get hit. <laughs> um. <laughs> I tell you one thing: isn't it great though that she yanked all that money and all she did was like with every dollar she yanked, two more teeth got loosened. <laughs> <laughs> Tee hee. There you go, girls. This doesn't make any sense. It's like I'm gonna, you know, we're all here to support these women, and I don't. I thought those guys weren't funny, so I'm taking money away from these ladies. I wonder what they would have done if De Niro or somebody had volunteered to to say be the MC. Would they have uh, objected because he beat his wife in Raging Bull? It's it's, it's once again the double of standard for comedy. It's just revolting. Right. And again, look at what Paula Poundstone has has was in the news for. Well, yeah, I don't know that Paula did anything. No, I said she was in the news for it. It was alleged. But you weren't even accused of that. And what bug, bugged me is this woman ran a woman's choice clinic, which is basically it's an abortion clinic, correct? Yeah, I guess so. And you're talking about beating up your kid. I'm like, well, at least at least they had the thing. <laughs> God almighty, at least you guys had it and loved it <laughs> and well, repainted the room. She didn't even want to repaint the room. She's like, ah, let's just leave it as a study. <laughs> well, this, they obviously combed through my act looking for something that was against women. Yeah. I don't talk about any women or hitting women. But they found, oh, he hit a little girl. So if I had done a bit about hitting my little boy, they would have said, ah, who cares? Little yeah, boy. it wouldn't have been in there. I, lo- I love where it's it says <laughs> joking about decimating his stupid four-year-old daughter by bashing her in the head. <laughs> it looks so good in writing. It looks like a restraining order. <laughs> it, looks, it looks like she thinks my daughter is. Louie, do you remember that picture yeah. you took? What's that? That picture that's in the paper. Do you remember that from anywhere? Can you can you trace that picture back? Like, oh, I remember it's this like, picture. That's me from the HBO special, the half hour I did two years ago. Uh, the publicity <laughs> photo they got from HBO. So HBO supplied that to help them malign me. <laughs> yeah, because you look like a lunatic. Patrice just looks like he's ready to carjack you. <laughs> you know. Patrice looks like he's going, oh, did, were the people there? I didn't know. <laughs> well, I mean... You don't want to, uh, really, I mean, as, as a comic, we all know that people like, uh, you know, Liz Abzug and Merle Hoffman, I mean, that's basically the target audience because they're very funny people. You know, women who are involved in social causes always have wonderful senses of humor. Oh, yeah, twisted. Hilarious. That's the yeah. whole point. The whole point of this stupid event was let's take this out of our realm and go get some, you know, it was Rich Boss was there. The the, the bill was a dirty, nasty bunch of guys because <laughs> we pull in numbers yep. and we mm-hmm. make money for them. We didn't get paid to do this. We did this for them. Yeah. And so the idea that this lady's going to like protest by, you know, she should just go over to that shelter and start hitting women because she didn't think we were funny. Well, I, I not only should she, but I think we ought to as well. Not because I love women. <laughs> Nor is funny. Why is Nor have too much about being no, no, no reason. I mean, I, no, no, I didn't go through a, a horrible experience this weekend that I'm devastated. No, no, no. 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 Oh, believe me, when it comes to a little woman bashing this week, it is. Uh, oh boy, you picked Jimmy's the right week. guy. I make Lamar to look like Alan Alda this I can, week. I can picture, I can picture Norton's entire left side going out of socket trying to punch anything. <laughs> Nothing does comedy better than being quoted so that you can tell how funny it is in an angry article. Because Patrice's bit is obviously, I mean, just the fact that she spelled out R. It's, it's not even my bit. It's a, it's a, yeah, it's that. yours now, buddy. Hey, Thanks. you got any gigs coming up, man? Yeah, I'm doing uh, Vegas. I'm doing uh, the, the the comedy festival in Vegas. I'll see you out there, man. I'll be flying out there with an empty seat next to me on the plane. <laughs> so uh, take care, man. We'll see you there. I'm doing the Saget Show. Oh, Maybe the three of us can hang out since there won't be four. Oh. so much, no. All right. <laughs> I think so much, no. Right. <laughs> You're listening to Anthony.